What up guys, this is Sticky Fishy Fishing, just down here today, going to have a go for some squid. Just going to use this 2.5 gram pink squid jig and see if we can get a few. Bit of 10 pound braid, 10 pound leader. Haven't been squidding for a while but see if there's any around. Nice conditions for it. Calm, clear water. Hopefully we can catch a couple. I just hooked up guys. This feels like a monster squid. End up changing from that little jig to a bigger jig. And just working it down on the bottom. I thought I was snagged. But, it's a squid. Oh, this is a good size one. It's a beast. Look at the size of this thing. Absolute monster. 40, if I put on a jig, bigger jig, I might get a bigger one. And, uh, definitely worked. Look at that thing, that's a horse, absolute horse, I haven't got a squid that big for ages, look at that, it's a nice squid, absolute donkey, the fat of that, yeah change over to that bigger jig, Third cast, squid on. Let's try this karate chop technique that they reckon. Yep, works. Karate chop them and as soon as they go white, you know they're dead. Makes them better eating. Instantly white. And now you got a dead squid that will be a lot better eating. All right, guys. Here's the squid. I'm gonna clean it before I take it home. Saves me making a mess at home. So what you wanna do is get the head out of it. No, I'm not the best squid cleaner. I usually use them for bait. But, pull it out. Try not to break the ink sack if you can otherwise it just makes it more of a job and it's worth all right there we go we got the head out we broke the ink but not in the squid oh we did a little bit but that's all right so there's the head and here's the body and what you want to do is get your fingers under these wings slimy little bugger yeah just get your fingers under there and then just peel the skin back just slowly work it back you get to the other wing
rip that off. There you go. Then you just got the wings and the skin. You can eat them, but I think I'll keep that for bait. Then you want to pull this spine out. The cartilage, it feels like plastic, eh? What it, it's backbone, whatever you want to call it. What you want to do, if you want to make calamari rings, you've got to turn it inside out. But if you're just going to make it in the squid strips, you just cut it straight down the centre. Otherwise, you can turn it inside out and make calamari rings. Just put your finger in the top, push it inside out like that. And then keep pushing it just like this and you can turn it inside out. Just like that. And then you got the inside of the squid. That's if you want to make it in the calamari rings and then you just clean this guts out of it. And it's ready for um, calamari rings. But if you don't want to go through that hassle, you can just um, cut it down that line there and just chop it into strips. That's why you don't want to try to break the ink in it, so then you can get it out like that, and it's a lot cleaner. Makes it a lot more easy to deal with. There you go. Then you just got one clean squid tube. They only eat this part under the eyes, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, they do. Just cut that off. Unleaf the head. Push the beak out. And then you can also eat that part too. Oh, there's that leg section. Fry that up. So then you end up with just a tube and legs to eat. Oh, well, guys, there you have it. That's how you clean a squid. End up a squid tube, and you just chop that in the rings. Chop that into pieces, crumb it. Never tried that, but I'll try that. I'll get the rest of the skin off it when I get home. And the wings, you can eat the wings. People do eat them. You can actually eat the whole squid, but I might just keep that for bait. Like, imagine that on two hooks floating under a float. Big kingfish. Smash that. If not, snap a bait and that. It's as if a snapper ain't going to eat that. Alright, I'm going to head home. And, um... I'll do a uh, cook up of this. All right, guys. Once you've cleaned the squid, what you want to do is just trim this end piece off. Take that bit off, and then you just want to chop it into squid rings. You want to cut them. Decent size, but not too thick. Probably like that size will be fine. Just like that, good size squid rings. Yeah, so just cut it into bits like that. That's all you want to do. Do the whole squid all the way to the end. Alright, once you chop it up into all rings, with that one squid tube, look how many calamari rings you get. So many. So you don't really need heaps of squid. Alright, there we go. Heaps of calamari rings and some squid tentacles. 
And I'm just going to crumb it. So I just want to put an egg in a bowl. Tiny little bit of milk. Mix it up. Get some uh, flour. Put it in a bag. Just like that, a bit of flour. Put some uh, pepper. Salt. Flour, salt and pepper. And get another bag. And uh, just using some uh, Planko breadcrumbs. Put some crumbs in a bag. A few crumbs. And what you want to do is put the squid in the flour. A few squid rings at a time. Turn them in the flour. And then just dip them in the egg. Put it in the uh, crumbs. Just like that. Give it a shake and and it should come out some crumb squid there you go some crumb calamari that's all you gotta do pretty basic Just flour egg crumbs this is going to take a while to do all these because there's a fair bit there In there. You don't want to put too many in at, at once in the crumbs because the egg will make all the crumbs go too gooey so you just want to do a few at a time. will take a bit of time to do it but it's just what you got to do and get it done. Alright, that's all you do. Flour, egg, crumbs and onto the plate. I'll finish these off. Alright guys, there you go. That's one whole squid. There's some calamari rings, a few rings there, and a few of the tentacles crumbed. Goes to show you get a fair bit out of one squid, so that's plenty. But after you crumb it, put it in the fridge for like an hour, let the crumbs set. So when you throw it in the oil, they stay together. Alright, I'm going to whack this in the fridge for an hour, and then I'll cook it up. Alright guys, just heating some oil up in a pot. Just going to sort of deep fry it in just a bit of oil. Got the squid there ready. All right, let's put a few bits in. You just want to put it in there till it goes brown. You don't really want to overcook it, just brown the crumbs. I'll do for now. Holy Jeez that cooked quick Quicker than what I expected Lucky I checked them. They're almost burnt. Just 
surprised how quick it cooks. cooks so quick but you want to cook it quick squid otherwise it goes um tough so the quicker the better looks good though all right that's awesome That's cooked perfect. There we go. She's ready. Doesn't take long at all. As soon as the crumbs go brown, it's cooked. Look at that. It's, it's done perfectly. Alright guys, squid is done. Cut a bit of um lemon. little bit of lemon let's do a test and see what's the best I tried a ring I want to try on these tentacles I heard they're good I've never tried eating the tentacles before see how it goes no tentacles are good a whole lot's good actually Alright guys, that's how you catch squid and um, make calamari rings. Awesome. I'm going to finish this off, share it out with the family. So if you like this video, hit the like button, share, subscribe. Thanks for watching. Cheers.